In 2020, 98.8% of the poultry imported by CARICOM members were supplied by markets outside of the region. With this, CARICOM spent 242.3 million US dollars importing the meat of fowls, ducks, geese, turkeys, and guinea fowls. And only about 1.2% of the poultry demanded was imported from within the region. These figures were provided by Guyana's President Dr. Irfan Ali, who presented a detailed analysis of countries' agricultural sectors to other CARICOM leaders during a meeting of heads being held in Belize. President Ali is the lead head of government for agriculture in the CARICOM community CARICOM Kwesi cabinet, tasked with lowering food imports and boosting regional food production. According to him, there are specific ways countries can reduce poultry imports by satisfying their individual demands. For example, Ghana spent about 4.7 million US dollars importing poultry products in 2020 with a notable demand for sausages. The president, however, noted that investments in value-added capacity to produce canned and other sausages could allow the country to replace imports of processed products. In Trinidad and Tobago, where there is a high demand for certain cuts of meat, President Ali said that opportunities should be considered for investment in mechanical deboning facilities and the production of leg quarters to satisfy the import demand. In Suriname, investment in a certified processing plant could see that country displacing poultry products and potentially earning millions in revenues from the use and export of poultry products. Similarly, in other countries, key demands were identified and broad strategies for replacing imports with local or regionally produced poultry products were outlined. This analysis was well commended by other CARICOM heads and now leaders are expected to decide how these strategies will be implemented in their countries and across CARICOM. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Fishani Ragbir.